Hi Dave, so um, you asked the question about the uh, newsletter. So there's two ways of handling the newsletter subscription. Uh, first of all, there's this um, sign up form here. So if I enter my email address here, I will be subscribed after I confirmed through an opt in email I will receive after I've been clicked onto the subscribe button. So if I enter my email address, I will receive an email uh, asking for confirmation. If I click on the confirmation, I will be subscribed to the mailing list. The mailing list, the newsletter list, is uh, handled by um, a platform called MailChimp. I thought Morgan uh, gave you the, uh, the access, maybe he didn't. So uh, I will send that to you. Uh, MailChimp is there, so MailChimp.com. It's specific for uh, mass mailing. Okay, login. Login. I give you. And here you are into your uh, Mailchimp dashboard. So there's the list here. There's you only have one list. Mail Clean newsletter it was created like uh, a little bit more than a year ago. Right now you have zero subscribers. Meaning, like nobody signed up for this, uh, which is normal. I mean, the website just been released. Uh, but when people will add anything in there, uh, you will be able to to see like subscriber going up here. And at some point, when you will have like enough subscriber, you will be able to start sending uh, campaigns, so uh, mailing campaigns. So to do that, you go in campaigns. And you just uh, follow the tutorial. I mean, Mailchimp is really well uh, developed, so just create campaign and just follow the the instructions, and you'll see how you can send like actually mass email to your subscribers. So that's the first um, that's the first way of um, sign up here. Second way is is manually. So when you click on when your visitors click on book an appointment. Here they have the choice to uh, select. I would like to be included on Merrill Clinic email list. So yes or no or nothing. So basically, when one of your offices receive this uh, this subscription um, form, the appointment request form, uh, they will see if people have selected yes or no. So basically, I just made a test. So here, this is what I just. Which this is what I've just done. Here I haven't uh, filled in the information. So if you see, I would like to be included in the Merrill Clinic email list. Here there's nothing, meaning the people, the visitor didn't agree or didn't give his consent to be added to the mailing list. So in this case, you can't do anything uh, regarding the, the recent uh, law that enforced the, uh, I mean, the that manage the, the way people can can send email to customers. But if he has um, ticked yes during the subscription, uh, during the appointment request form, you can add it manually. So it means you just take his email address, uh, which is here, and you just copy, and you just put it right there. So you go into MailChimp, you go into list, and you just click on add subscribers here. Add subscriber and you type your email address, his email address and you take this person who gave me permission to be added to my list and just click on subscribe. There you go. There you go. There you go. So now if I go there. Oh yeah, there's there's a, a little delay between like your subscriber will show up on the list. But basically, I am, I'm on the list right now. So if you send a campaign to anyone, I will receive it. So this is what you have to do for. So there's two methods, right? There's the automatic method on the homepage, and there's the manual approach. Uh, if you see that someone ticked the yes uh, yes box in here, your staff should add the, um, the messages to your, uh, to your list here. So we just click on, on list and uh, just add subscribers. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, just, uh, just let me know. Thank you, Dave.